Okay, and then the last set here <clears throat> on day three of stuff. Continues on, we're just simplifying and put in standard form and naming them. And this is why on letter N, I do not like to use the word FOIL. FOIL only works on binomials times a binomial, okay? And what we have on letter N is a trinomial times a binomial. So if I try to do FOIL, first terms, okay. Outer terms, okay. Now, when we get to inner terms and last terms, Inner, well, where is that going? Is that going here? Um, is that going here? I don't know. And then when I get to last terms, why well, took care of the last terms right here? So FOIL does not work for anything besides a binomial and binomial. So that's why I just like to say distribute. Take everything in the first one and multiply with everything in the second one. So distribute. Got a lot of multiplication going on, and it's easy to make some mistakes. So let's slowly go through there. 3x to the second and distribute it. 6x to the third plus 21x squared. Then for the next term, distribute the negative 2x. Now it's easy to make some silly mistakes. I forgot my squared there. Negative 4x squared minus 14x. And then last, that 3, 6x plus 21. Put it in standard form now. 6x to the third leads things off. There's nothing to combine with it. 21x squared minus 4x squared gives me what? 17. Negative 14x minus 6x is negative 8x. And then just a lone 21. And this is a cubic uh, four-term polynomial. Okay. So watch it. FOIL is fine, but it doesn't always work. Just keep distributing. Uh, letter O. On letter O, I'm doing this, and there's negative 1 here. I'm doing this. So again, just kind of combines a lot of everything we've been doing and throw it all mixed in together today. So negative 1 half x to the fourth minus 2 x to the third, and then plus x squared. And distribute the negative 1. That's a quick one. And then start off. Uh, you've got x to the force. Negative 1 half minus 5. Those pesty fractions. That is negative 5 and a half. I prefer to write it as an improper. So I believe it's negative. Um, let's see. I don't have a lot of room down there. Negative 11 halves. x to the fourth. Minus 2x to the third. X squareds cancel out, minus 1. Fourth degree, or sometimes called a quartic trinomial. Letter P. Okay, we are cubing it. Not cube. Yeah, cubic. Wow. Cubing it. Sorry, just had a complete brain fart there. 2R minus 5, 3 times over. So we want to take this in small pairs. You guys can do that multiplication. So do that. Okay, so I'm going to do that multiplication and start off by distributing and getting 4r squared minus 10r minus 10r plus 25. But it's a cubic, so I need to redo that one more time. As I combine like terms there, I get 4r squared minus 20r plus 25. That's only the first two. Now I need to multiply by that third one. And this is why FOIL, again, is not going to work. So I'm going to take my time here. Try not to screw it up. Distribute that 4R squared. And I get 8R <clears throat> to the third minus, that's a 5, so minus 20R squared. Now I'm going to distribute the negative 20R. Give me negative 40R to the second, and plus 100R. And then lastly, uh, let's try a screen. Distribute the 25. 50R. 25 times negative 5 is negative, what, 125. 
put it in standard form. 8 minus 40 is like terms, so what is that? Nope, sorry, 8 cubed is by itself. I can't read my own handwriting. Negative 20r squared minus 40r squared is negative 60r squared. 100r plus 50r and minus 125. So we end up with a cubic, uh, what is that, four terms? Polynomial. And lastly, on their Q, expand it out. Got two variables. Who the heck cares? Just kind of do what you've been doing. Distribute the 4x. You get 16x squared and 4x times negative 5. Usually, you write those in alphabetical order. So negative 4x times negative 5y is negative 20xy. And then we distribute the negative 5 and get negative, negative 5y and get another negative 20xy. And then we end up with a plus 25y squared. Now, with this particular question, our example, in terms of writing in standard form, it can get a little weird because we have two uh, variables. So with that in mind, we usually go kind of um, I always like to think of it as kind of like a little roller coaster. You start with x squared, you get to the middle, and then you go back up to y squared. So in this instance, um, when you have multiple variables like that, you kind of do from one variable on down, and the other variable goes on up. Um, just typically how you write those.